What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing or crash on startup issue you're currently having with Geometry Dash. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I would really really thank you. Um, if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel, it will really help me out and make my day, especially as a little YouTuber as I am. So without further ado, I don't want to waste your time anymore, I want you to just start and so let's get right started into the video. So the first thing I would recommend doing for everybody if you have this kind of issue is going to be to take your um, launcher shortcut, for me it's uh, Steam. You could also have like um, Origin or EA or Epic Games, sometimes uh, games are on multiple launchers, so take the launcher where you downloaded it. You're gonna right click it so right click for your mouse and this tab will pop up i want you to click on to run as an administrator you're gonna hit that what will happen is really simple it will pop up your launcher and once your launcher pops up i want you to store your game over the launcher so in the launcher and try to fix it by doing that if it this doesn't work you're gonna close your launcher again you know take uh your launcher you're gonna right click it you're gonna go to the very bottom where it says properties once you hit properties this tab will pop up you're gonna stick onto shortcut, but afterwards go to the right side where it says compatibility. And now, as you can see, I have some um, settings and I want you to simply copy it. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode, so you're gonna enable that. And afterwards, you're gonna hit Windows and search for the, uh, search for the latest version of Windows, for me it's Windows 8, but you could also be Windows 10 or 11. Uh, afterwards, go down, disable reduce color mode. Disable run in, run in 640 by 480 screen resolution, disable, disable full screen optimizations, enable run this program as an administrator, that's really important, and afterwards disable register this program for restart. For me, I've done it so I can't hit apply, for you, you're going to hit apply and hit OK. And uh, what's that going to do is by default, you're going to start, uh, or your PC is going to start your launcher as an administrator and every game related to it. And so this, this little sign here will pop up when you restart your PC. And uh, if this doesn't work, you're gonna hit, you're gonna take your uh, game shortcut and do the same thing. So with the properties and uh, run it as an administrator thing, and afterwards restart your PC, and this will probably fix it. So the next step, if this doesn't work, is gonna be to navigate to the very bottom where it says like you're gonna hit your taskbar, you're gonna right click, you're gonna hit taskbar or task manager. This will pop up, and I want you to maximize it so we can see it better. Uh, navigate to the top left corner and just check if you're on processes. If you're on processes, there's some things to do right now. You can, as you can see, there's GPU and CPU usage. And um, if there is a high CPU GPU usage at the moment, that, that could mean that something is taking too much power or too much uh, performance from your PC. So what I want you to do is going to be to go to apps and background processes, which are not related to your um, driver, so Windows or something like that. Just uh, like, I don't know, for an app which is running in the background. And you're going to hit right click. And uh, basically, you're going to hit on end task and do this with every single uh, application or background process, which is taking too much GPU or CPU power. Um, next thing I want you to do is going to be to navigate to the top left corner again. You're going to hit on to details. And now you need your game running for that, but uh, I'm not running it right now, so that just doesn't really matter. Just do the same thing to your game, which I'm going to do to the Adobe Premiere Pro. So you're going to right click it. Uh, once this tab pops up, I want you to click into set priority. And now you need to hover over it. And as you can see, there is some settings which uh, normally are normal, obviously. And I want you to click onto high or real time. You need to check it for yourself, but because on some PCs it will work with real time, some PCs will work with high. What this is going to do is just running all your uh, performance or some of your performance um, priority wise to your game, which uh, will uh, reduce your crash and storage probability. So um, afterwards, um, I want you to click on to store up. So again, left top left corner, click on store up. Uh, afterwards, you need to disable every single process, every single app which is um, onto auto storage, which you're not using, which is running all the time in the background. So for example, I don't know, if you uh, don't want to uh, have Razer Synapse, for example, you're gonna right click it and click on the disable. And I want you to do this with every single process or program, which you don't want to run in the background. Once you finish with that, I want you to end this task. Next thing is gonna be to go to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're gonna click onto Windows, uh, the Windows symbol, or just simply click onto your Windows key on your PC. You're gonna hit settings. 
once you hit settings, I want you to click onto system. And now, as you can see, we stick to display. I want you to identify your main monitor. So if you have two monitors, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you have two monitors, it matters. You need to identify it. If you have one monitor, it doesn't really matter because there's only one. So you identify it, scroll down, go to scale and layout, where you can see change the size of text apps and other items. You need to change it to 100% as recommended. And the display resolution down here should be the same as in game. So for example, if you have in game like 1440 by 1080, I want you to change it to the same resolution which you're currently using in game. Um, next thing you want to do is going to go to power and sleep. So on the left side, uh, you're going to go to the right side. This doesn't really matter at all. You're going to click on the additional power settings. And now this tabs open up and you, as you can see, there is a choose your customer power plan. So I'm using balanced, but for some PCs better using high performance. So your PC is going to be um, like, if it's performing better, it's re reduced the crashing issue. And so just try it out, which is working better. You could also try to an additional plan, but from my knowledge, it doesn't really work. So just use high performance or balance and just try it out. Next thing, go to storage. You're going to click configure storage center right now. Uh, afterwards, you can see the settings. I want you to copy my settings every week, 14 days, 60 days. Afterwards, clean now, which will uh, lead to um, help your PC reduce the temporary files which are not getting used by it. So just click on clean now. I'm not going to do that because it takes quite a while. So, and I did it. So go back once or twice. And next thing is going to be to click onto gaming. So once you're at the gaming, I want you to click onto Xbox Game Bar and you're going to stick it around the Xbox Game Bar. What I want you to do here is going to be to uh, simply turn this off because the Xbox Game Bar is going to suck a lot of performance and you need your performance to um, use your game correctly. And uh, especially in low-end or bad PCs, this will lead to crashing or just crash on startup issues general-wise. So just keep this off and um, next thing is going to be to click onto captures. This will take quite a while. And uh, as you can see, I want you to go to background recording, go to record in the background while I'm playing a game. And now I want you to simply turn this off or check if this is really turned off. Because as you can imagine, if your Windows is currently all the time recording in the background, it will impact your game, your crashing, your game experience in general. So just keep this off. If you want to um, record a game, then you're going to use OBS or something like that, but you're not going to use Windows for that. Just keep that in mind. So next thing I want you to do is also go to record audio and check if this is turned off because I mean, you don't want to record audio and this just sucks at quite performance. So just don't do that. Go to game mode afterwards. And now this is going to be a little bit tricky because it's not going to work for every single device. So you need to check it for yourself. Some devices uh, tend to use game mode better. And some devices just need to turn this off. So you need to check it for yourself, turn it on, turn it off, and just check which is working better for your PC. Go back. And now I want you to click on to update and security. What I want you to do here is going to be to click on to uh, troubleshoot. And now you're going to use your Windows or your um, like your system in general to um, search for broken data, which is going to be repaired. So try to troubleshoot. If it finds nothing, I want you to click on to Windows Update. And this is going to sound a little bit basic, guys, but trust me, it will help you a lot. I want you to update every single driver which is currently on your PC and is outdated. As you can see, mine is up to date. But if yours isn't, you're going to click on Check for Updates. You're going to download the best version of Windows, which is currently available for free. And uh, this will help your PC a lot. So once you're finished with that, I want you to end this task. And next thing is going to be to um, simply do that for your driver's card uh, as well. So for your graphic card, uh, I want you to click on to NVIDIA GeForce. If you have NVIDIA, if you have another driver application, click on that. And uh, I want you to update your uh, graphics card to the latest version because some um, games will, won't even store it. Because uh, if you have an older version of your graphics card, it won't even store it. And you need the latest one to perform at the best. Um, that should be it for the video. I hope I could really help you out of this one, guys. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right into my channel. It would really help me out and make my day in general. So if you have any issue, if you have any questions, just feel free to put it in the commentary section. I will read all of them and try to answer them. And um, just check out all of my other videos because I made a ton of videos on every single game where you can, uh, you're going to check um, if you have any problems, so just check for them. And if not, just have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.